Okay, so uh, how many of you know Lightning Network and what is it? Uh, okay, so we start from, from the beginning. Um, the problem is that the, the especially Bitcoin blockchain is a bit limited, so it can you know store a limited amount of transactions per block, and there was the idea of how to solve it, uh, and there is a lot of proposals, and most of the proposals are around you know efficiency of storing the transactions and so on. But this this idea is about not putting stuff into the blockchain at all. So imagine a, a situation where I have to pay you a coin. I cr create a transaction, I sign it, and then I give it to you, and you can put it in the, ch in the chain at any moment, and it will be a valid transaction, right? But then a week later, you have to pay me a coin. So we give me, you give me that transaction back, and I invalidate it, right? We didn't put anything in that chain, but we still transacted using a blockchain as a backup mechanism in case, you know, you don't want to give me the coin back, or, um, I mean, in case I don't want to pay you back, right? You, you have something that you can enforce using a blockchain, and then we don't need to put it unless one of us kind of uh, fails to deliver the, the contract. So what's needed to achieve that? Um, we have to have an ability to create some, some sort of a payment channels, um, which means we have to secure a, a particular amount of coins in the chain so then neither of the parties can kind of cheat. Um, and once we secure the channel, then we can transact between the parties as many times with small transactions as we want without putting transactions into the chain. And then we only need to put another single transaction into a chain where we want to close the channel. So if the balance between us is zero, then you know we just put we close the channel, and then if the balance is different, we put a, a single transaction which just makes sure that I have the coins I should have and you have the coins you should have. So the channels usually work with um, two ends. Uh, the initiator uh, sets it up in such a way that it gets a refund transaction first from the other party and then puts the kind of a lock in um, a transaction which is locked in time, so it cannot be realized until a certain amount of time. And after that step, we can transact with small uh, payments until the value which we put as a buffer, uh, and then we have to close the channel. So we don't need a, a third party trust, we don't need any escrow service, we can make as many transactions as we want, and all the transactions between us are off bound, so they are instantaneous. So, you know, it, it doesn't have any limitations the current blockchain has. It sounds great. Um, And to make it even better solution is if we could scale it. So instead of doing it between just two parties, how about we do that with another party which has channel between you and that party and me and you, and then I can pay her or him through you, and then we have a network, right? So the Lightning Network is all about this network concept. So not only doing transactions between one, one on one, but also doing it with people we don't have a direct link with, but they may have a link through somebody in between. And because we don't need trust, we can cop those transactions through any node in the network, in this kind of a lightning network. Um, so ideal solution would be that the routes are dynamically discovered, that we ha have no central services, because you can imagine having some you know, um, bank-like service which you route the transaction through. Uh, that is anonymous, uh, it allows multi-channel parties, um, multi-party channels, and we have no uh, transaction delays. We don't have everything yet to achieve that. So what we have is the ability to do the initial channel uh, in, uh, operations. So we have, because we have a multi-sig uh, contracts in Bitcoin, we can do opening and closing the channel doing the micro transactions. Now we also will have the, um, um, there is a relative lock in time, so there was a lock time instruction before, but from 1st of May we will have a new one, which is a relative one, which is even better. What we don't have is prevent um, the transaction malleability. So the whole point here is that the initial transaction is like not actually in the blockchain, and because the hashing of the transaction can be 
changed by changing some part of the transaction which is not used for the calculation of the hash. I can create a new transaction which kind of invalidates the hash and then the chain which was built on top of the initial transaction just falls apart, right? So for real use, real world use cases, this prevents the Lightning Network to actually operate. Um, so inability to make sure that transactions which are, haven't been realized yet have a fixed hash which cannot be tampered with, that's one problem. The other one is we still haven't figured out how to do the routing and how to do the routing in an efficient way if we have the network. So what we do at school, we have um, students trying to simulate how it would work, how it would work like if we have uh, the malleability sorted and if we have um, the routing, various routing protocol implemented. That's all.